Thing now. March 20th, 2014, lateral ear resection surgery to solve the problem of chronic ear infections and, uh, and pain. Now, this now is a had the operation done seven days ago, and uh, and uh, the wound is healing quite well. There is no pus, no infection. The wound has been uh, washed twice. One is day three and one is day five. Today is day seven. Now you can see, you can see that this this wall has been taken torn away, cut away, and you can see the horizontal canal which is this opening, uh, it's quite painful. So post-op, the vet and the owner must maintain it by, by cleaning the horizontal canal. Now to do that, to do that, put the ear drops in and uh, under the horizontal canal. And this must be done must be done, uh, let's say twice, twice a day or one, one in two days, depends on the, on the recovery. Now, the horizontal canal still has a lot of dirt inside, which uh, has to be, has to be uh, cleared. Now, of course, now it's day seven, the dog feels much better. Before that, it can't do. Now I turn to the other side. I turn the other side and uh, sit. Best is to get the dog to sit. And uh, same, same, same uh, post of care. Normally you just use a cotton bud and check the horizontal canal. This is the horizontal canal, the hole here. And it's quite painful. So it is still painful because the operation is just done seven days ago. And normally, if you hospitalize a dog so that you can do it, owners can't do it normally. Now, this is a. So put. Okay, okay. Put a few drops in to uh, relieve the itch. And uh, there's still dirt inside. Now, we did. Earlier, we did it by sedation. Today, the dog is not sedated, so. You can see it's quite hard to, to clean. Now, I just want to focus on the horizontal canal. That's the opening. That one has to be maintained, not just uh, after operation, forget about everything, because the dirt is still inside. And uh, of course, we need to give more painkillers. And, uh, and this horizontal canal is, is uh, a bit dirty. Okay, so so this has been done quite regularly, maybe either twice a day or one in two days, depending on the on the on the healing for the next uh, fourteen days. After that, every week just check and then uh, and then uh, clean it, check with the cotton buds, and and the dog would, would be would not be feeling so painful at my then. Now it's very painful, so we will we will just wash it and then. Uh, Put back the e-collar, over the e-collar and uh, over the e-collar and uh, give the antibiotics and painkillers again. The dog should go home on the 10th day, day 10. And uh, over overall, no, he doesn't have this itch. Previously, the dog was was uh, very itchy and keep on scratching, scratching until there is a bad body odor because of the infection, you can see now his neck is much better. Previously, he was really scratching his neck until uh, they all inflamed and smelly. And uh, the co owner complained of the bad body odor. And uh, that would be because of those pus from the ears and the saliva biting here, the dog saliva biting to relieve the itch. Now, when the, when the ear is infected, the dog feels itchy along this, this area. So according, so the dog will bite, bite this area as you can see to relieve the itch. And to the, to the owner, it seems that there's a skin disease here. 
but actually this, there's no skin disease, it's due to the top but I think because of the each there's a nerve comes down here and the dog bites here as well you can see the colour and so you can see the dandruff all this cause bad body smell of course uh, the other side you can see the same thing see this side see this side uh, this dog keeps biting here and uh, these are the colour changes of course this, this will be due to other reasons inner sac disease this is elbow sore, elbow sore, but uh, all these contribute to the bad smell. And uh, in this case, the dog did bite here, and you can see the color tone. The tone is different. This is due to scratching. Normally, the dog uses the back leg to scratch, but now he doesn't do it because he's no more itchy. If not, you can you can elicit the scratch reflex. Or you touch the ears, and the dog, will, the back leg will come out and, and keep on scratching. But now it's much better, so you don't. I can't show you the reflex. And uh, so put the e collar on for the next uh, 30 days, if possible. The stitch out will be 14 days later. Now it's seven days, so uh, we will wait till 14 days. The end of. Uh, Discussion of post of care March 20 to 014.